this is me. That's me. It's time for another Tuesday tag. And I've been tagged by who? Kim, a girl on her phone, has tagged me. These are the Tuesday tags we've been doing from Tracy from a girl on, no, Tracy from a Trials of a Long-Haired Girl. I'm getting it. Uh, she cooked up these little brainchilds so we could have something else to focus on during this pandemic time and just you know, let you know a little bit more about your favorite YouTube channel and some fun questions, a little bit of light stuff. So Kim has tagged me. This is called, as I look down because I don't, it's called a food. I believe it's food. Wait a minute. Choose food questions. All right. What did you eat for dinner last night? I ate chicken parmesan bubble up. I was going to make, trying to make chicken enchilada bubble up, but I didn't have the right sauce. I thought I could doctor it up, but mm, this is gonna happen. So I knew I had a tomato sauce and I had some mozzarella. So I thought, let's do, I don't know if, if um, there is one out there. I didn't even look because I just kind of did it on the fly. And when you see the video, you'll know it was on the fly because it was one of those last minute changes and I just kind of winged it a little bit. So it actually came out pretty good. The family really liked it. If you could make one food calorie free for the next year, what would you choose? Chocolate, probably. I love chocolate. Does it have to be chocolate or soft pretzels? Because they're my two like all time faves. Yeah. How often do you go to the grocery store? Normally, I go a few times a week. Um, right now, like every other week. So yeah, I mean, I usually do like one major shop and then like little, you know, because I never have what I need because we can't keep everything in. So I would always be go hit or miss. I, I work, I get done at one o'clock, so I'm usually stopping on the way home from work. So usually a few times a week. Do you make a list before you go buy groceries? Um, if I'm doing a big order, yes. If it's my little in between, no. Do you list three things you could always be found in your kitchen? A cutting board, um, sharp knives. I will not do anything without a sharp blade. Has to be sharp because I ain't cutting my fingers. Absolutely. What else? Um, a cutting board, a sharp knife, and my gadgets. I love gadgets. I love kitchen gadgets like Pittsburgh funky spatulas and whisks. And I'm um, into the spurtles right now. So I love different types of, you know, stuff like that. How often do you clean your fridge? Not often enough. Um, I try to clean out the leftovers a few times a week because I don't like to see them sitting there because they get but I you know I kind of deep clean the, the refrigerator a few times a year I should you know every once in a while I go through the veggie drawer like it's not anything consistent maybe it should be <laughs> do you ever use a slow cooker if so share a recipe I don't use my slow cooker as often as I'd like um, the few things I do regularly make in my slow cooker are the Crock-Pot Apples from Hungry Girl. Um, and lately I've been doing the Cranberry Apple Butter that uh, a friend at my Weight Watcher meeting shared. I have a video on that. Um, salsa Chicken, I make that like a couple times a month. And I usually make like a nice chuck roast in there it cooks beautifully. So there are the things I definitely make regularly in my crock pot. I don't think there's anything else. The cr I mean, the salsa chickens, like I said, every other week, but I found those kind of getting tired of it. But I will uh, link that video and the cards for you. How often do you try new recipes? Um, not often enough. I don't really follow recipes. So how often do I get creative? A lot. All the time so I'm not like I said I read cookbooks as a hobby as a book like you might delve into a mystery I like to read cookbooks so all the information is jumbled in my head and when I like that chicken parmesan I mean I sat there and in my mind thought what could I do to make that so I don't usually follow recipes I just kind of create some from all jumbled up stuff in here that's why it's hard for me to film because everything is just air in there floating around and 
could come here come right out in the old hands so I it's hard for me to film that way and write it up I'm trying to be better at that but it's a little bit difficult but so I would sit there and say a few times a week and, and they're not really recipes they're just creations like how often do you create I create all the time what is the most delicious meal you you make uh, my family would say, I, I mean, I make everything. I mean, there's never a complaint unless it's, um, you know, the most delicious meal, my soups. I make fantastic soup. And again, not a recipe. What I, what I have around, I could make, you know, something out of nothing. And usually, and that's the problem because when I go to recreate it, I don't have the same stuff because it's just whatever's in the pantry, whatever's in the fridge, whatever I need to use up. I need to get one chopped because <laughs> I can make something out of nothing. So it's hard for me to say, you know, what, you know, but the, oh, this is really good. And if I try to make it again, it won't be the same. It'll be okay, but it won't be the same. Um, my family really loves my homemade meatballs. Um, they ask for that. Um, breakfast, I make, you know, interesting pancake combinations. You know, what you're putting in your pancake batter because you can change it up with this little extract change and some fruit or some dried this or some chocolate or some peanut butter You'd be surprised if you can make it in your pancake batter other than that i mean it's hard to say i mean it's chilies i make all my chilies again never taste the same if i have peppers if i don't have peppers what kind of beans you know so they're always different they're always pretty good but it's just i'm more of a fly by the seat of my pants what's in the pantry what could i create and my husband will eat anything and thinks it's all fantastic. So if you ask him, he would say everything. The boys, they're boys, you know, they're young. They'll be like, well, we really don't like this. And, you know, can't please everybody. Share at least one thing that is currently in your kitchen, even though you don't like it. Problem is I like a lot. Um, what don't I like? Oh, well, it's Easter time. And my husband's very big on Easter candy. And he always buys like jelly beans and peeps and all weird candy. Like I only like chocolate, you know, it was very rare that I would. So I like when he brings all that weird stuff in because I don't like it. So yeah, right. And luckily he got out before, you know, he, he's obsessed with Easter. Since he was a kid, he always goes to the Easter shops and buys all the fancy candy. Again, I don't like it. I, Every year he gets me an Easter egg or peanut butter covered in dark chocolate. That's my thing. And he always buys the boys their own Easter egg. Usually it's either buttercream or peanut butter cream. That's usually the two ones he'll buy and he'll get their name on them. He's done this since they were little. I mean, we're talking too little to eat an Easter egg. But so he's real big on the weird candies, all the creams. And I don't like that. It's sweet tarts. Like all like that kind of candy. Gummies. And the kids, they love it. Peppermint patties, hate them. So I, I let him, I think, get as much of that crap as you want because I don't like it. And if I don't like it, I ain't looking forward to it. Other than that, I mean, sure, it's one of the things that's going in the kitchen that you don't like. Oranges, I don't eat oranges. I don't eat fruit. I mean, I eat apples and I've learned to tolerate bananas, but I don't like cantaloupe. I don't like oranges, clementines, and he has a tons of them in there and they don't move me, but they should because they're sugar points. But yeah, I'm not a big fruit eater like blueberries, blackberries. No, I, strawberries I'll tolerate, but don't like raspberries, blackberries, or blueberries. And I'm very rare. Like, I'm not a big fruit. I don't like watermelon. I mean, I don't hate it, but it's not something I gravitate towards. But other than that, I think it's, well, oh, there's, there's the dog. All right, let's see somebody walking. Walking a dog, because, you know, they were investigate. So that's the 10 questions. I thank you, Kim, for tagging me. And I'd like to tag um, D, Skinny Beats for Lifetime, and Sophie D. I'm going to tag all the Ds. So check them out. I will have their links listed in the description box below. Thanks for including me. Have a great day. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button.